Hi, this is Forrest Briggs. Um, this is the second part of a series of screencasts where I'm going to make this game Magnet Golf um, using Flash CS3. Um, in the previous post, I, I set up the project and made the puck move from left to right. In this post, I'm going to make some magnets. So I already made magnet graphics. There's a plus charge and a minus charge, and these have properties linking them so that they can be added through action script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two arrays um, for plus magnets and minus magnets, plus charges and minus charges. I'll call this plus charges array bear, minus charges array. Okay, and I'm going to add some magnets to those arrays. I'll start with just plus magnets, or just minus magnets for now. Okay, let's add five. list of minus charges. Take a look. Alright, there we go. Now we've got some, some minus charges floating around. It'll be different every time. Um, let's make them let's make them attract the the puck. So to do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to calculate the force on the puck due to them. Call that fx and fy. And I'm going to iterate over all the charges. charges for now. And I'll compute the vector from the charge to the puck. vector in the direction of dx and dy to fx and fy, but I want to scale it by 1 over the distance squared, so I'm going to calculate that. Say mag is the number. And I'm going to put this in the denominator of something, which I don't really want to be 0 over, so I'm just going to add 1 arbitrarily. And now I will say fx plus equals dx divided by mag fy equals dy divided by mag. Okay. Might need to add some scaling factors in there, but we'll see in a sec. So that goes through and adds a force for every charge to the puck. And now we want to cause those forces to accelerate, changing its velocity. So what we're going to do is say fx. And I'm going to turn it down to just one charge to make it easy to see what's going on. <laughs> there it goes. Is it being attracted? Mm, it doesn't really look like it's 
being attracted that much, but it's pretty far away. Actually, I'm going to turn the charges way up. See if it bumps into anything. And looks like it's accelerating pretty fast away from those things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some more force to it to make it um, more noticeable, whatever is happening. So I'll call this drive. see what that does. Makes it more, ah, okay, yeah, it's totally being repelled by those minus charges, so I need to flip the sign right here. Oh, and also I have a typo here, this is an X. Actually, let me just try it with that fixed. It's still being repelled, so. Let's put it like that. And now, it is attracted to the charges, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm going to say that that's what I was hoping for. Let's, we'll watch it one or two more times. Turn up the, the coefficient and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's that's the expected behavior right there for the attractive charges. Now I'm going to add the repulsive charges. And we're going to need to do the same thing as with the minus charges, but with the opposite sign here. And it's going to complain that I'm reusing dx, dy, and mag, and coef. I'll fix that in a sec. Just a second. Hopefully it won't work without any problems. Undefined property plus charge. turn off all the minus charges and see if I see any plus charges. Duplicate variable definition. I. And I think the reason I'm not seeing any pluses is that Some plus charges. It still kind of looks like they're being attracted though. What? That is pretty strange. Huh. Alright, well, suppose I flip the sign. Still attracted. Ah, here's the reason. Okay, 
The reason it wasn't working right is that even though I was adding plus charges, I was still listing them in the minus charges array, and so they were only being counted as minus charges. And I don't need to do this. No, they should be repulsive. Yep, there we go. And I can turn back on the minus charges. Alright, well, there we have it. Now I've got a bunch of charges either attracting or repelling my puck. So, the next thing I want to do, as soon as I fix this little variable duplicate, is make them drag pull. But I think I'm going to do that in the next screencast. So, till then, thank you.